everybody, it's Mike again here at Tell Me Wine TV. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And today we have a tasting show. Very excited. We're about to taste a 2005 Chablis. Uh, Chablis being the uh, northernmost appellation in Burgundy, which uh, because of its kind of fossilized bedrock soil, uh, produces some wines that have really bright minerality, really expressive wines. Uh, also, uh, have a, an oceanic quality, a salinity to them, and uh, which makes them uh, great, great food wines, great seafood wines, shellfish wines. So uh, I have not had this wine. It is the 2005 Clevelier Chablis. Um, this wine uh, is fermented in stainless steel 100%, only the Grand Cruz and Premier Cruz touch barrels. Um, so, let's get right into it. I mean, I guess there's really not much holding us back here, so. Okay. So the color is that of like a golden raisin. Um, kind of a, a, a dried straw. Uh, pretty color. Yeah, I mean, it, it, exactly. Exactly what I would expect from uh, the 2005 vintage, which is bright, bright, bright minerality. Some tropical fruit, but a, but an earth, but a real earthiness to this wine. I mean, the soil really shines through in this wine. Uh, there is there is a salinity, there is a minerality. There's a there's a there's a, a, a funkiness that, that that's in this wine. Let's give it a shot. Great acidity, great food wine. Um, again, shellfish, seafood. Um, this wine is a perfect match for things like that. I'm still tasting this. Um, wow, I'm pretty excited. It has a toasty quality to it that uh, I, I, I wouldn't really expect given the fact that it was 100% stainless steel fermentation. But the soil really is the is the key to this wine, and uh, is what makes this wine exactly what it is. Um, a really great wine, and uh, for thirty dollars, to me, not not inexpensive by by any stretch of the imagination, but for what you get out of this wine, it is it's well worth the thirty dollars. So please, if you see the Clavelier two thousand and five Chablis. Um, and you have, you know, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit of money to burn, and you want to kind of step it up and go with something that's a little bit, a little bit higher end for the white wines. Um, 2005 vintage was fantastic. This wine proves it. So keep sending your questions in. Check out the Chablis 2005. If it's not the Clevelier, try any 2005 Chablis. I'm sure they're, all, you know, most of them are pretty fantastic. So thanks for tuning in. Again, send in your questions. We love them. Um, questions, comments, to Tell Me Wine TV, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again.